So, final game of the season is here. West Ham against Aston Villa. Um, a game I, I think we all thought we were going to need something from. You know, a few games back, we weren't looking too clever. Results were poor, performances were poor. And we were looking to this game as being a potential relegation playoff. Um, thankfully for us, that hasn't happened. We're safe now. Uh, we don't need a win in this game. The result doesn't affect us in that sense. Um, having said that, uh, it's still a Premier League game. It's still important. We still need to continue our momentum because we will be carrying that hopefully into next season, some confidence. Uh, and next season will be on top of us very, very quickly. So it's great that the pressure is off. Um, and it showed, I think, in the United game that we weren't feeling under any particular pressure. I think we played very well in that game. The players looked relaxed, looked confident, played some really nice stuff. And it was good to see. Um, you know, we've unbeaten in three games. We had back-to-back -back wins against Norwich and Watford. So the players are feeling good. We've got the points that we needed. Left it late, but we got there, and that's the important thing. Um, not quite the case for Villa. They looked in real trouble, actually, not so long ago, but they are now playing like their lives depend on it, uh, because they do, and their performances have improved. Um, I thought against Arsenal they were really, really good. They played with a high tempo, with passion. They looked like a team that really desperately needed the points. Arsenal, it has to be said, were very flat, didn't play particularly well. I don't think they got a shot off in the game, which is very poor for them. But that's Arsenal. Uh, they just they blow hot and cold. They're an unreliable team. You never know what you're going to get from them. But that was a huge, huge win for Villa. And as for Watford, what are they doing? I mean, you know, Nigel Pearson came in. They were seven points adrift, I think, at, at the foot of the table in December. And he had them within touching distance of survival. And to sack him at that point is just a baffling decision all round. And it may well cost them their Premier League status. They go to Arsenal on Sunday knowing that no matter what they do, they may not survive. Villa, on the other hand, know that it's now in their hands. They come to the London Stadium knowing that if they win that game, they are safe. And Watford will go down. So that's at least a good thing for, the, for Villa. They know that it's in their own hands. They're not looking elsewhere for results. If they get the job done, they survive. So fair play to them. You know, it was a great performance against Arsenal and they deserve that win. Should have won it by more than 1-0. And they've got some, some very good players there. You know, um, Ming's really good centre-back. Obviously Grealish uh, on the left wing orchestrates everything for them. A really classy player. And John McGinn as well. I really like John McGinn. He, he's a very good player. Um, so Villa when they come to us on Sunday, are going to be highly motivated. Um, they're going to want to make absolutely certain that they do not go down. So they'll play with a high tempo. They'll get stuck in. They'll be really going for it. So we have to be ready for that. And I hope we are. I hope we don't just decide that we're on our holidays now and we, we play, you know, very flat, you know, and without tempo or without any intensity to our play. We're going to have to match Villa if we're going to get something out of this. And I hope we do. And I hope Moyes takes it seriously too. I would play our full strength team for this game. Uh, like I said, we need to keep our momentum going. And I also think it's important for the integrity of the league. You know, there's a lot at stake on the final day. Um, I wouldn't want us to just hand Aston Villa three points. We need to go out and try and win this game and get three points ourselves. So I hope he'll go out with an unchanged team. 
that will signal intent because if Moyes changes it up and, and puts out a kind of largely second string team, he's saying to the players, don't really care about the result here today. And that would disappoint me. I want us to go out and win this game, finish the season on a high. Our form uh, has just been really, really good recently. And we've actually been playing some really nice stuff. There were, there were times there against Man United where we were stringing together some lovely moves. Uh, the passing was crisp. The movement was excellent. And we looked really, really good at times. And I like seeing us play like that. We didn't see enough of that all season. And it, and it just feels good to see us playing really well and putting those nice moves together and scoring some goals. And I want us to continue with that, regardless of the fact that we don't really need the points on Sunday. If we come out with the right attitude, with a strong team, and really go for it in this game and don't slack enough, then we can absolutely win this game. Villa, I think, will play well, but obviously, look, they're not a brilliant team. Um, on their day, they can be quite good, but we should, with a good performance, be able to take the points in this one. Um, so I'm going to give Moyes and the players the benefit of the doubt that they're going to take this game seriously and really try to win it and say that that we will pick up another win on Sunday. There won't be much in it because I think Villa are going to absolutely scrap for this one. So I think it will be close, but I would back us, I think, to win this one 2-1. I think we will score again, but I think Villa will, will score as well. I think it'll be an entertaining game. It'll be fun to watch. And obviously we can watch it and then just enjoy it. Um, Villa, on the other hand, you know, uh, their fans are going to be a nervous wreck for 90 minutes. Of course, a lot will depend on what's happening at the Emirates, you know, um, if Arsenal are winning comfortably, then obviously, you know, Villa will know that and uh, they'll relax too and their fans can relax. But uh, I think a West Ham win by 2-1 to one, and let's finish this season off strongly and come on you irons. Hi, my name's Nick and I'm giving the opposition view for West Ham Aston Villa this Sunday. I think it'll be a very important game for Aston Villa. Uh, because if we win, we're probably safe. But I don't think it'll be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. I think West Ham's form over the last few games has been pretty good. Uh, I think they've won three of the last six and only lost once in that time. But Villa themselves have won a couple in the last three and dragged ourselves to the point of at, at the relegation zone, which three, four games ago, couldn't even imagine... I think we were seven points adrift at one point and, and our goal difference was worse but somehow we've managed to drag ourselves back into it and other results gone our way so yay for that um, I think this game has a few key battles uh, the first one I think will be Jack Grealish uh, and I've highlighted two West Ham players for Declan Rice and Fredericks Grealish starts on the left but tends to drift inside so it will be for Fredericks to follow him, possibly, but I think Rice might be tasked with that. Uh, I think he's a bit more defensive of the two the midfielders that um, play the whole role for West Ham. Um, but that said, Grealish, probably his last game for Aston Villa, unfortunately, because probably moving on to bigger and better clubs, which a no Villa fan would, would knock him for, because what he's done for us for the last couple of years has been phenomenal. Um, but I think quality player I know a lot of other fans don't like him and I understand why because he's one of those players that does go down a bit easy at times but when he plays for your team unbelievable the way he carries the ball and homegrown players nothing like them in your side uh, another key battle I think will be Antonio and Mings I think Antonio last few games has been excellent I think he's pretty physical he's quick but so is Tyro Mings uh, I don't think Antonio is a natural finisher, which might work in our favour. But that said, he, he scored quite a few goals, so I can't knock him. But Mings is a quality player. Obviously got capped by England this year, but does have lapses in concentration. But hopefully this Sunday he'll be fully on it. Uh, another key battle, I believe, will be 
Jared Bowen and Target on the, the, the left back and West Ham right winger. I think Jared Bowen is a quality player. I've seen him play a few times for Hull and always impressed me. He's quick, uh, likes cutting on his left foot. Uh, Target, good defender, um, probably lacks a slight bit of pace, which might work in Bowen's favour. But I think Target, again, will be up for this. I think all the Villa players will be. Uh, another key battle, I believe, will be Douglas Louise and Mark Noble. I know Mark Noble's been playing a bit further forward for, for West Ham, um, and Douglas Louise for Villa has been, since the restart, has easily been our best player. Um, he's calm, he, he makes interceptions, good passer, uh, been linked to moves to Arsenal and Man City in this summer, but hopefully he'll stay at Villa for another year at least. But again, money, money will talk, big teams will, and, and you know, they'll go. Um, I think Villa's lineup will probably be very similar to what has been the last few games. Uh, El, Ham El Hamadi has been starting at right back, but he got injured the other night and Gilbert came in. I think that'll be an obvious change for Villa. Um, and I think we we'll, might make one more. I think Samata up front might be dropped in for um, Keenan Davis. I think Keenan Davis never scored in the Premier League, though. But I've been impressed with him when I've seen him this play this season. He's physical, um, takes up good positions. Uh, unfortunately, his finishing is somewhat lacking. Um, other than that, I think it'll be pretty much the same team as we've played for the last three or four games. Uh, I believe David Moyes will more than likely keep the same lineup um, as he as he has for the last few games. I would doubt he would change it at this point because I just don't see why he would. Obviously, West Ham being in some excellent form, but you never know. M might might decide to rest a few players. But I, I can't see it myself, so I, I think West Ham will be the same as they lined up against Manchester United. Um, finally, score prediction. I tend to think Villa might just edge it, uh, either 1-0 or 2-1. It would be a nervy game either way for them. I think we've got more to play for, and hopefully the West Ham players won't be quite up for it, as they might have been for the games, now that they've, they can't be relegated. But that said, I've seen David Moyes put out teams before, uh, particularly Everton, that no matter what, they, they always worked hard and, and played well, so you never know, but hopefully we'll win, secure our uh, survival, and we'll play you again a couple of times next year. For West Ham fans everywhere, this is the ultimate football app for you. Never miss a thing with the latest West Ham news, gossip, and social stories as they break. Download the free COY Irons app now from the App Store and Google Play.